Hi, hi, still me, Sloan, Mako, whichever one you want to call me. Um, <laughs> since I wrote the book, I have not really done much advertising or anything. Um, and I know I've talked about it before, and I, I will continue to talk about it until it's actually launched. I have this project, The Girl They Call Pepsi, um, because that was my more frequently used name. But uh, basically, I am interviewing people from my life about everything that they know about me and how they view me and what, the, what they see as me, their, their perspective of what my life is and who I am. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want them to repeat anything that I've said in the book, and most of these people have not read my book yet. So I want them to tell stories that are not in my book, stories that wouldn't be heard otherwise. You know what I mean? And um, I want to put these videos out in a, in a teaser kind of way, like, oh, well, if this type of madness happened in my life, just imagine what's in the book. You know what I mean? No, you don't know what I mean. You should know what I mean. And what you should do is actually go out, buy my book in my uh, community uh, tab or discussions tab, whatever. Uh, details are in there. Um, what you should do is buy my book and read it, find out all the wild times and crazy ass shit we, that happened in my life, and then you can come back at me and have a conversation. I love those conversations. Uh, everything in my book is true. I've had to omit names, which I did for 80% of the people before I published, and then I had to do it for another 15% of the people after I published for dramatic reasons <laughs> but uh yeah that's all well and good and it's been taken care of already and um yeah enjoy it's as uh, stripped down a version of my life as I can get it um but it's not really about I mean it's about my life specifically but it's like It's it's about the, the common parts of my life, about the, the being the teenage runaway. Half, half of the people I knew were teenage runaways, you know. It's about living on the streets. Most of the people I know have lived on the streets, you know. It's about domestic violence. It's such a freaking common situation. You know, my, my book is about all of the common things in my life that shouldn't be common. Really, too. It's about all of the things in my life that shouldn't be common, but they are. And so my book is about the most common story, really, that is never really told outside of closed doors. And we don't tell these stories because we're ashamed. We're ashamed because we had to endure it. We're ashamed because... Uh, we didn't want anyone to know that we endured it. We just want them to see our happy, happy, shiny face, you know? We don't want everyone to think that we've we've survived things. And you know what? I was raised by gangsters, bikers, uh, religious gurus, hippies, thieves, uh, car thieves. Uh, I, w I was raised by such an eclectic group of people that I genuinely don't care what normal people think of me, you know, so I'll out myself about all of it. That's why it's kind of perfect that I would be the one to write this book, because whatever your opinion is of me now, and whatever your opinion is of me after you've read my book, I can tell you this. I genuinely don't care. If you read my book and you find something in it that resonates with you, that's wonderful. I'm happy for you. If you read my book and find that you weren't in it, I don't care. If you read my book and you find that I misrepresented you from the way that you want the world to perceive you, I don't care. This is how I viewed 
the events of my life. If it challenges your view of how things went down in my home, I don't care. If you feel that I am nothing but a violent thug and a thief, that's fair. I have been those things. Maybe in some ways I still am those things. I guess. It's possible. But I don't care that you think that way about me. Because you see, tomorrow, I will still have food on my table, a roof over my head, clothes on my back, and my lights on. And I still won't care what you have to think of me. So yeah. It's better that I write this book than someone who genuinely gives a shit about what other people think of them. Because I'm pretty sure it would be harder for them to step up and have to sign this book in front of somebody when they look at her, uh, they look at her with like pity in their eyes and they say, you know, you're so strong for having lived through such a thing. See, with me it'll be like, yeah, I guess. And I will sign the thing and be like, here you go. Because the past is the past. I've moved on from it. Me purging it out into the book? That was me getting it out of my system, putting the truth to paper, and putting, the, putting that chapter of my life to bed. It's done. It's over with. It's the past. And I really don't want to review or revisit any of these topics. And so when people want to talk to me about those things specifically, I will point them at the book. Go read about it. You want to know about that? There it is in the book. Oh no, but what if I don't know if I want... No, 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 no. You want to ask me these questions specifically? Get the book. You want to ask me anything about my life today and what's going on now? We'll talk. We'll sit down. We'll have a nice chat. But you want to sit there and talk to me about something that happened and I, I already wrote it down in the book? But you're not going to get answers out of me. You're going to pay me. <laughs> and you're going to get the answers from the book like everyone the fuck else. Because I'm done answering those questions, which is why I wrote the book. Yeah. God, that went on a tangent. That totally wasn't supposed to be the way that it went. And yet, it did. So, all of that being said, uh, my name change still isn't legal yet because of certain paperwork hindrances. And I apologize, but soon it will be Nicola Sloan Prosper. Um, but my other names will also be used in these videos. Trish, Alexis, Alex, uh, Rhett, Pepsi, probably my most commonly used name. Um, so... In this project, when you see my videos, you'll hear them calling me by one name or another. Yeah. So, so that there's no confusion. The, the, the girl they're talking about in all of this stuff, it's me. I'm, I'm me. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the me they're talking about um, in the videos. I'm going to try not to be in any of these videos. I hate being on camera, if you couldn't tell. Me being here like this, kind of meh, is why I'm not really looking directly at the camera most of the time. I'm looking off this way or that way. Um, I'm still not used to it yet. And uh, <laughs> I was going to come on here with my new mask. It's all decorative and, and make it look a little more festive. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I guess I'll be seeing you guys again soon.